Okay, hello my people. So today's video is just gonna be about something that's been on my mind recently for quite a long time. It's about road men and social anxiety. These men, they're out here. They appear to be fearless, but deep down they lack basic social skills. And this is a phenomenon I've been studying lately. Why can't men on the roads actually socialize? I'm not trying to generalize the population of road men or anything, but it's just like, Something that I've observed, especially recently whenever I interact with any guy from the ends, you get me? Yeah, it is, it is. So with the music thing, do you just do you just do drill or are you doing other stuff? Just a drill thing. Just drill. Yeah. Okay, cool. You got any collabs, anyone in mind that you want to be working with? <laughs> I'm not even sure right now, still. Anyone in the drill scene that you rate? There's a few people still. There's few people. Gonna put it out there? Listen, I did A-level psychology when I was in sixth form. I got a B. So I always wanted to be a psychiatrist and that. And studying the inner workings of a road man, it really inspired me. It's not like they're awkward. It's just they have this weird kind of detached from the whole present moment kind of thing. It's like they're depersonalised or something. Like some deep depths of depression where I, I can't get through to them. And I find it a good way to represent this is like a bell curve. Like certain road men are quite outgoing and extroverted, while some are very introverted and shy. But the shy, socially anxious ones, they usually stick out more to me. Or maybe there's more of them. I don't know. There's no real quantifiable evidence towards this. But I feel like these days, man, the road man, there's something about them. They have a certain kind of mystique. All these drill rappers too in the interviews, I feel like there's something to it, man. Look at the Fumes interviews, anything. The road, man, they, they don't really know how to speak and that. My hypothesis is that usually PTSD, it, like, it just gets too much, so they just shut down. Or maybe they're just processing a madness going on in that situation. So when this like social worker or whoever's interacting with them, they kind of don't want to give it away too much because that social worker might betray them. And there's, there's tr trust issues as well that come into it. Yeah, man, the thing is, you gotta like have some exposure therapy and that. You gotta put yourself out there, man. Just like try it, try it a little bit. Even though you're old, man, you can have little conversations here and there. Practice, practice makes perfect, man. Put yourself out there. That's how you beat depression and all that social anxiety and shit. If you're in conch, like sometimes. I'm not even chatting shit yet. Sometimes people in country, like, you're selling to a fiend or something. Ask the fiend how the day was or something. It's really that simple, man. If there's a fiend or something and she wants a tick, just be like, Hi, Sarah. Hi, Kyle. Hi, Michael. How's your day? You get me? That simple shit like that. And then you build it up. Next thing you know, fam, you're having full conversations. You're vulnerable and all that. And you get to know people, man. Because it, it, it's not good, like, just being so in yourself man that's how road men are they're so to themselves and then next thing you know you're turned into a demon and then you're going on the art block and shit you're shooting up man's fucking yard and all that are you bored of the same shit repeated all over the internet do you want something new realness to be spoken realness that isn't even allowed on youtube my patreon is what you're looking for there's new vids on there and you will learn a lot too Link at the top of the description. Don't miss out. And the thing is, I'm a mentor. I've worked with plenty of road men in the past and taught them all about how to navigate the roads, life after the roads and all that. Social anxiety is just, it's just a complex one though because there's loads of comorbidities with other mental illnesses like PTSD. I feel like a good sociology experiment can be done into this but it's, it's difficult to keep it controlled for all the external variables and all that. And one thing I want to say is bond the NHS. The NHS has done nothing to help any other man on roads. All it does is stigmatise you. I remember sitting in A&E, some guy got stabbed and they made this guy have to put in his date of birth and address. I swear down, the NHS is a joke, joke thing, man. We've got to come up with alternatives because that's why I run my roadman counselling sessions. I charge £20 an hour. I give coaching on mental health, everything, man. If you want to book with me, message me on the Insta, innit? Because... My roadman counselling sessions better than any of that dickhead NHS shit. Even if you're not a roadman, you can book with me as well.
If you're on roads or something watching this, if you've suffered from social anxiety, then hit me up on Insta so I can learn from you. I've given advice to some roadmen on how to beat their social anxiety too. Usually it comes with knowing who you are as a person and you're not the roads, you've got an identity away from the roads and then we can move from there. One thing is to teach them that you can trust people, you can open up about yourself and we don't need to put on this tough guy personality all the time. We can cry, we can, we need hugs sometimes as well. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You know what, I'm, I'm on a mission to like destigmatize mental issues in like roadman culture, UK urban environments because... I know that certain men try to destigmatize men's mental health, but they come across as a batty man. So I'm here to make it seem cool and not corny because, yeah, man, it's too much, like too many men putting out videos. Oh, yeah, I care about men's mental health. Meanwhile, they look like a batty man. So, yeah, I'm trying to be the guy that doesn't look like a batty man, trying to make it seem cool to chat about your mental health. Anyways, I hope you enjoy this, man. I'm out. Bang.